We're back. Hi all, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today, week 10 predictions, National League South, 23-24 season. Let's go. One thing I've got to quickly mention before I get into this, this does not include FA Cup results. I've left FA Cup results completely out of it and filmed it before they've even happened. Want to keep it to just the league. So if we do our usual, start with a shock of the week and results we got right. I'll start with shock of the week this time around, just because it was a fairly easy one to decide on. Slough Town beating Avely, Avely having a fantastic season. Slough were rock bottom just a couple of weeks ago. Slough have now gone to Dartford, beating them 2-1 on a Tuesday night away from home. And then they've gone to Slough and won 2-0. Alexander is on absolute fire, currently sitting top goal scorer along with Alfie Pavey. Um, really good season for him. And Slough finally out of the relegation zone really really good couple of weeks for them um just a brilliant result and definitely deserve shock of the week for beating an Avery side who looks so good this year if I look at the results I did get right though I was pretty impressed I got three of them so that's 25% of the results bang on correct which is good let alone the ones I did get the outcome right for as well if we look at the ones I got bang on right I got Braintree drawing to Farnborough 1-1 one, one. I thought that was going to go absolutely awfully after um, goal in the second minute from Pavey um, goal in the sixth minute from Mason I thought god six minutes gone it's already 1-1 one, one. my prediction is going to be so far off but it didn't it stayed like that for the rest of the game um, Torquay beating Chelmsford 2-1 seem to be pretty good at re uh, predicting the uh, tall key results and Western Supermare drew to Hampton and Richmond 1-1 one, one. but without further ado let's get into the video first game of the week we have Avely are taking on Braintree Town Avely finally losing that three game winning streak after losing to Slough as we've mentioned in the shock of the week not the result they would have wanted but it was away from home. Going away from home in this league is never easy. And the league's so unpredictable as it is. I do think Avery will be very, very strong going back home. Especially against a Braintree town side who are struggling to pick up results. Although they've only lost one in their last five. They're just picking up too many draws for my liking. So for that reason, I am going to go for an Avery win. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 win. Next up, we have Bath City taking on Dover Athletic. This game is written in the stars to be a Bath City win. Dover sitting second from bottom with just the six points on the board and only one win all season. Bath City, on the other hand, top of the league, unbelievable run of form. Another win on the weekend just gone against Welling. 1-0 win there. Jordan Thomas with another goal. What a signing he is proving to be. A great young talent by the looks of it. Really good player, scoring some great goals. Dover, on the other hand, really, really disappointing loss to fellow strugglers, Weymouth. Especially as they're at home, it would have been even more disappointing for them. I can only see this fixture going one way, as I'm sure many others will agree with. So I'm going for a bath win and a fairly comfortable bath win. I'm going for a 3-1 win. Game number three, this is a game I definitely will be looking out for this weekend. A really good looking fixture in my opinion personally. Chelmsford versus, versus St Albans. Uh, two teams that have been really good forces in the league uh, for a long time now and two teams that I expect to be right up there this season. St Albans, a very, very rocky start to the campaign but have now finally gone three games unbeaten including two wins. Most recently over my beloved Dart, so 1-0 win there but that doesn't seem like a fixture people are struggling to get three points out of if being completely honest. Chelmsford on the other hand um, unbeaten start completely wiped out of the park two losses in a row now for them albeit most recently against Torquay United who are going to have a very good season and as I've said in many videos are one of my favourites if not my favourites uh, to go up uh, therefore I think this is going to be a great game um, I don't want to call it but both teams are both teams are scoring goals um, I'm, I, I just I, you know what no 1-1 one, one draw this week 1-0 Chelmsford now, if this game isn't as even as games come, I don't know what it is. Dartford playing Tombridge Angels, two teams that definitely 100% would have been expecting to have a much better start than they're currently having. Dartford now three losses on the trot. Tombridge just one win in their last five. This is a game that's going to be massive for both teams. Dartford on nine points, Tombridge on 10 points. Both right down the bottom near the relegation zone. I never expected any of these two teams to be down there so soon. I expected Dartford, especially my beloved Darts, to be on many more points than they are. Um, Tombridge, horrible result against Taunton. 3-0 loss. Taunton having a great season. Um, but that's football. And Dartford, obviously, another 1-0 loss. Another 1-0 loss. So many of those this season. Not scoring enough goals. Uh, this game really wouldn't surprise me if it was a 0-0. Um, so uh, I'm going to go 0-0. 
Next up, we have another pretty even game. Eastbourne Borough are taking on Welling United. The story of two sides that just don't seem to be scoring enough for my liking, but that could change as they play each other this weekend. Uh, Welling still sit in the relegation zone on just the seven points, coming off the back of a 1-0 Bath City defeat, which is completely understandable. Bath look crazy good this year. And of course, Eastbourne losing to Yeovil Town. Yeovil looking great this season. I went and watched that game. Really good game. Eastbourne first half, Miles better side, Yeovil second half, Miles better side and uh, goal three points. A draw probably would have been quite fair, but it just wasn't to be for Eastbourne that day. Um, anyway, I think this game will be a great game. Uh, both teams not scoring enough. Am I going to predict a winner? Uh, no, I'm going for my favourite, 1-1. Halfway through now, and we have battle of the top goal scorers. We have Farnborough taking on Slough Town. Farnborough at home, as I say all the time. Farnborough's home form is really, really good. They look a completely different outfit when at home. Obviously, you've got Alfie Pavey on seven goals this year. You've got Alexander on seven goals this year. Two very, very good forwards that are going to be hoping to nab another goal this weekend. I know it sounds very harsh because Slough have just come off the back of two fantastic wins against Dartford away and beating Avely. But I think Farnborough's so good at home. I think they're playing pretty decent football. I know they only got a draw out of uh, Braintree away, away, which isn't really a bad result. Um, so I am actually going to go for a Farnborough win. I'm going to call it pretty narrow. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Alexander and Pavey both got a goal this weekend. Uh, so I'm going for a 2-1 Farnborough win. Next up, a team that currently sits in the playoffs, Yeovil Town FC, take on a team that currently sits in the relegation zone, Hampton and Richmond. Hampton and Richmond finally playing at home again. Lovely to see for them. They have finally started to get some points on the board, a win and a draw in their last two games. Yeovil just look too strong, though. They're scoring so many goals, which is fantastic to see. They're definitely creating lots of exciting games in the league at the moment, which is really, really good fun. Uh, Hampton and Richmond, as I say, I think they will come good. I don't expect them to be relegated this year but I also don't expect them to beat Yeovil this weekend. They may get a draw, but I'm not going to call it a draw. I'm going to go for a 2-1 away win for Yeovil Town. Next up, this should be a fun one. We have Hemel and Hempstead playing Torquay United. Hemel absolutely love a draw at the moment. They are the People that are getting my favourite result constantly. Loads of 1-1 draws this season. Just getting results. A fantastic result against Worthing away. I think anyone would take a 1-1 draw at Worthing away this year. Talky United, on the other hand, lots of pressure on me because I keep getting Talky United results right. I don't know how I'm doing it, but Talky just seems to be my team. They seem to be a two sides that have their favourite results. Hemel love a 1-1 draw. Talky love a 2-1 win. And at the moment, I could see this being a pretty equal game. Uh, Talky, obviously... Uh, Another win over the weekend. Brilliant win as well over Chelmsford. That's a great, great result. Samir Carruthers, the ex-start for man himself, scoring an own goal in the 90th plus fourth minute to give Torquay all three points. So this is only going one way. Do you think I'm going for a 1-1 draw or a 2-1 Torquay win? Well, I'm going to tell you now, I'm going for a 2-1 Torquay win. Next up, we have one of the games of the weekend, in my opinion. Maidstone United, 8th place Maidstone, hosting 2nd place Worthing. Maidstone just outside that playoffs at the moment on goal difference. A fantastic away win at Chippenham. 2-0 win, clean sheet. They'll be chuffed with that away from home. And I must admit, one of my players of the season so far has got to be Levi Amanchi. He just looks so, so good. Whenever he put, picks up the ball, he looks dangerous. Um, but Worthing, on the other hand, uh, looking so good they did have to grind out the result getting that 1-1 uh, one -one draw against Hamill they did have to get a late goal through Cole Brown um, in the 82nd minute but this may be one of those stupidly close games um, so who am I going to call it to uh, even after just big and made stone up for ages uh, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Worthing win Next up, we probably have one of the easiest games this weekend to call, in my opinion anyway. Taunton Town, fifth in the league, seven games unbeaten now, take on rock bottom of the league, Haven at Waterlooville. The only saving grace for Haven that I will give them is Steve King has had a bit of time now to settle in. He's had a few weeks, he's had a match day to have a look at his players, lots of training sessions I'm sure. Uh, Fowl still looks on red hot form, he seems to be the standout star for them, uh, but Taunton looked too strong. Uh, scoring goals, uh, just not conceding very many either, and especially as haven't have got to go to, uh, away to them, I can't see them picking up a result. I'm actually going to go for a 1-0 Taunton win. 
Next up, two sides that will have to play each other back to back. It's uh, Truro City taking on Western Supermare. They will play each other in the FA Cup this weekend and then they will play a league game as well. Switching where they play each other, this game obviously being at Truro. Western Supermare have fallen right off the wagon in recent weeks. No wins in a long, long time. Plenty of draws to be fair to them, but no wins and they will be really wanting to get a win as soon as possible because they are slowly falling right down the league again. Truro City, on the other hand, a very comfortable win over Haven and Waterlooville. A goal from uh, Neil yet again. They look a really good young side, so fit and energetic. Uh, really exciting to watch, I must admit, from the one game I've seen them this season. Um, I do only think this is going one way because of Truro being at home. I could be completely wrong, but that's the fun of this league, isn't it? I'm going for a 2-1 Truro win. Truro win. Yeah. And like that, we're on our last game. Weymouth taking on Chippenham Town. Weymouth will be extremely pleased after four back-to-back -back losses. Finally picking up a win over strugglers, fellow strugglers, should I say, Dover Athletic. Fantastic result for them. They really, really needed the points and they came home with all three. Obviously going to miss Bear Wish for this game unless he plays this one and misses the next. I'm not too sure, if honest, but obviously going to be missing Bear Wish uh, very soon if it's for this game. I'm sorry, I don't know. Uh, but they do play Chippenham. Just lost to Maidstone. They're still having a pretty good season. They still sit 12th in the league. This should be a fairly even game for both sides. A proper game down south. It's lovely. It's uh, one of those, if I wasn't away, I would definitely consider going to watch. But I am away in Milan. This should still be a great game. Really, really looking forward to seeing how these pan out. But focusing on just this fixture, we're going to go for a draw. We're going to go for 2-2. Two -two. So there you have it, all 12 games for the National League South, round 10 predicted. Let me know how you think your team's going to get on this weekend. Let me know if you think I'm talking absolute rubbish on some of the results. Hopefully, I'm going to get more than three right this week. I can feel it coming. It's feeling good. I'm feeling good. So as I say, um, no National League South match day vlog this weekend. I'm actually going to Milan. Um, so I'm going from National League South to the San Siro. So that should be a proper change in scenery. Uh, match day vlogs will be coming out, but uh, stick into this video hope you did enjoy it as always uh, i really enjoy making them so please do make sure to smash that like button if you want to see these keep coming for the rest of the season and until the next video i'll see you around thanks for watching bye for now